2000, just, just shout them out, y'all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's your boy Logic X3000 LCE. We in the building. Shout out to all the subscribers out there, all the new subscribers to the channel. Y'all already know what it is. Let's get into it. Murder Moot versus Tay Rock card went down. It was a lot of stuff going down, you feel me? So I ain't really get to catch all the matches when they went down live. I still didn't get a chance to see B Dot versus Holmesy yet. Um, I heard B Dot went crazy as usual, thirty Holmesy, but I heard Holmesy was good. I heard he had a very good first round. You know what I'm saying, but it just wasn't enough for B Dot. Um, so I definitely gotta check that battle out. Emerson Kennedy versus Loso. E K got thirty. He thirty to self before he even went to the battle. When he came out there with the blue Kool-Aid, Jolly Rancher, Cotton Candy haircut, you feel me? Like, that was not it, you feel me? Like, I hope, I don't know why he thought he was lit going out there like that, you feel me? Like, nah, that wasn't it, shorty, you heard? Nah, cut that out. I don't even know what your regular hair color is, for real, for real, because you always got the Cisco, End of the Dragon, you know what I'm saying, blonde. Eminem thing going. I don't know what's up, yo. You feel me? But 30. Your first round was cool. I think your, his first round was his best round to me. But uh, Loso did what he do. You feel me? He he just took it up a notch every, you know what I mean? Every round. You feel me? He took it up a notch. Um, And EK, yo, like, his delivery, I, I don't like his delivery like that, man. Like, that flow he be having, like, he didn't use it as much in, in his first, but he still be bringing that little flow back that I don't like, man. I don't like that sh shit. Like, I don't know. Loso, he had some good balls. I think his best round was probably, I think his second or third. I ain't sure. I, I, ain't, I can't remember, but I, I got to watch that battle over again for real. Jerry West versus Danny Mize. Danny Mize got bodied. Jerry West went crazy. This is the Jerry West that I want to see every battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, he be coming with them crazy punches. Like, he always got, like, Jerry West, like, he be having crazy-ass lines. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the time, you feel me? You feel me? He very creative, crazy punches, schemes, all that. You know what I'm saying? He... When he put it together, he he know how to whip it up and put it together, you feel me? When he in the kitchen, you're like straight up. Danny Miles, man, he choked in that second, you know what I'm saying? Danny, Danny, yo, like, I understand, yo, you always want to talk about, man, I can do this battle every week, every two weeks, whatever. Like, nah, yo, you got to chill out sometimes, man. Like, that, that, that's why your stock be staying the same. Like, your stock never really go up like that. And it take you, like, 20 matches before you even get somebody that you really want to battle. The, the Shug battle should have been happening. I don't even know why that never went down yet. You've been taking every other battle in the world, you feel me? Like, you got to stop doing that, you feel me? Because you're going to run into times like this where you don't got everything down packed, you feel me? And you just hurting yourself, you, you know what I mean? Trying to put all that material together and clutter it, clutter it all in your brain, you feel me? And have it down packed. Within a small amount of time, like it ain't good all the time to be doing that. You feel me? You de you had some good material, but it wasn't enough for Jerry West at all. He went crazy. Um, and when he said uh, the inbox, that inbox line about the uh the graphic artist man, that was shit like <laughs> that was slick. You feel me? That was a slick line right there, man. Shout out to Jerry West. Shout out to Danny Myers. And finally. Murder Moot versus Tay Rock. Uh, yeah, man, this was a this was a good battle, yo. This was definitely a good battle. I think it lived up to the hype. Um, Moot kicked it off. Like the first round with Moot, 
I thought it was beatable. I thought Rock definitely could have beat that round. Um, you know, Mook, he came out discussing Rock snaking bridges. We already knew that was gonna be addressed. You feel me? Uh, and he, I mean, he took that angle. It, it kind of ran through the, that whole round right there. You know, Mook, he he took his angles and kind of structured them and filled them out through each round. You feel me? Uh, whatever particular angle that he was taking at that time, for real. But he put it together well. It was slick. He still he had a couple light bars in there. You feel me? Like some outdated throwback shit. A, a couple joints that fitted. Fitted new era cap, you know what I mean? Like the haul off cough drops, that was cool. With kind of light, yeah, you know I mean. Um, but for the most part, man, he 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 put it together. You feel me? Like I was like, yeah, Rock can definitely beat this round if he got the right material to beat it. You know what I'm saying? That Jamaican Caribbean line boot cab was crazy. I liked that a lot. It was a it was a good first round. It was better on the second watch. You know what I'm saying? When I watched it the second time, his first round was definitely better to me on the second watch. Um, so T Rock went, you know, he comes out, let Mook know, look, yeah, you you built the foundation, but look, this building done been renovated, it's elevators, marble floors in here now. Look, it's lit. Where you been at? You ain't been putting in no work. Uh, I like the God tier battler. I I like when Rock was saying he'd rather be a God tier battler instead of bottom tier industry rapper. You know what I'm saying? That was a cool low line. The unbearable line that Rock did. I know some some people like man. Look how how Rock gonna say something about Mook Hippopotamus line and then like look Rock said that. Basically just, you know what I mean? Making fun of that line. You, you know what I mean? From Mook. That's all that was. I don't know. Some of y'all are crazy. The not a PG, rated R line, Rock said was I like that. Rock was addressing the bridge situation a little bit. You know, he 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 was uh he counter wrote of what he thought Moot might say in the battle, you know what I'm saying? Which is expected. You know what I mean? I, and I think he did a good job of doing that in the first round. Uh, he discussed Rex getting his eye, uh, the picture floating around with Rex's eye on dubs, on 20s. You know what I'm saying? Like, he addressed the Mav situation with uh, Moot, the pistol whip thing. That murder beat instrumental line that, that was fire. Rock, Rock had some good balls in that first round, yo. He definitely had some good balls in that first round. Um, some counter writing, as expected, like I said. Uh, I Man, I think that first round can be a little debatable, man. <clears throat> real shit. I think that first round can be a little debatable. Don't kill me, but real tough. Watch it over. You know what I mean? Whatever y'all think, hey, this is my opinion. But I had Mook in the first, edging the first round. Edging the first round. Rock did not get bodied in his battle. I don't know why everybody keeps saying he got bodied. You feel me? Like, just because of some angles that Mook took. You feel me? Like, what's the difference from fake personals? Fake personals been going on forever in battle rap from the beginning of the time. Fake personals, fake angles. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about how they deliver it. And if it come across right, you know what I mean? If it come across like the shit real, then, then it's going to hit. And that's just that. Now, we all know what angles is real. You feel me? We know Rock standing by the door. That's a fact. We seen it. Like, we know what's real. And you know what I mean? We can decipher what's not. But... I mean, y'all can pick and choose whatever. Hustle never came up with the audio. They still talking about the audio. Mooks, uh, Mooks said this is what was said in the audio, but no audio ever floated around. Rock then put out money saying he would give out a thousand dollars, two thousand dollars for whoever put the audio out, audio out, and it never came out. So hey, I mean. I don't even care about that no more. Like, I don't know why people keep always wanting to ruminate on, you know what I'm saying, that fruity shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, P 
people be geeking sometimes. I don't know. Like, I don't know why that be on some of y'all minds all the time. I'm just saying, but y'all be tripping sometimes. Real shit. Um, but second round for Murder Moot, he was talking about um, niggas leaving the cave. Of course, that was going to be addressed. You know what I mean? Like, we already know certain things was expected. Uh, so, and and I think I like Mook's second round better than I like his first round. To me, personally, I think he just had more bars. You know what I'm saying? He still had, like, a, a couple little light joints, but I think it was more bars that I liked in his second. That King Jaffe line, line did on your back. He referred to Jay Black. I don't know, man. Was that plant? Y'all think that was plant? Like, he was informed that was going down, or do you think he really put that in right then and there? You know what I'm saying? Because it looked kind of designed to be where it was at. You feel me? I don't know. It looked a little bit designed to me. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments. But regardless, it was still fire. The Carl Malone, John Stockton, I heard that, like, a lot. That was kind of like... Um, the whole Dracula scheme, the heart stake, all that fire, like that a lot. Send an official video. That's another um fake person or whatever. Yeah, you know I mean, official came out said that was false. You feel me? So, like I said, y'all decipher what y'all want to believe. It's not up to me to tell you what to believe. It's up to you to decide. At the end of the day. Um, when Av left the cave, see what you was left with. That was fire. I like that. Like I said, man, Mook had a good second round, yo. Oh, when he was like, when he was like, uh, got you in the way, bouncing off the walls from this tech echo, locate a hospital. Hey, yo, that was fire. I like that. That was a fire ass line. Yeah, Mook had a great second round, yeah. Way better to me than the first. Rock went, you know. Rock was coming with the slick bars, the slick lines. Um, you know, the name flips. Beat murder. First, second, and third degree. He also had a C Ave without cave uh line kinda like Mook had in the second round. So it was kinda I mean the way Rock wrote his rounds, he wrote them trying to neutralize or overpower whatever Mook was saying, you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I definitely commend him for that. And Rock was fire, yo. Some people keep saying, man, it was lackluster, it wasn't hitting like that. Nah, man, Rock was fire. Of course, he wasn't like he was in the daylight battle because that was a totally different battle. Um, You know, it's, it's more history with him and Mook, more personal, you know what I'm saying? So... That's what you're going to get a little bit more. And he still had the gun balls, you know what I'm saying? You know, he, he came out with his angles and his um his personals that he had, but he still came with the gun balls. Lift soul out of murder. Going lift the murder rate. The Trump shit he said was fire. End up like Kane at the end of the movie. Like Alina Cousin, fire. More gun balls he had. Murder set up in a small room, jigsaw, fire. Smack looked like Puff if he attempt murder on Shine. That was crazy. Crazy bar like that. Yeah, I had Rock in the second round. I had Rock edging the second round. Um Hey, it it was a good round. You feel me? I I edged Rock the second. Like I said, once again, nobody there was nobody in this battle. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what everybody keeps saying, but it was nobody. There was a loser, but there was nobody back. I don't see that. I don't know what y'all was watching. <clears throat> in the third round, third round was a body round. It was a body round. You know what I'm saying? And because Mook put that round at the end, you feel me? <clears throat> It took everything away from Rock third round. Rock third round was a little like he still has some shit in that third round, but Rock even brought the dot mob chain out, spit on it, stomped it, all that on the ground. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, be and that sound check line Mook had too, yo, was fire. 
Yeah, you know I mean, uh, Mook talk more. He get paid more than Smack too, yo. What's up with all that, man? You, Mook, you know, you, you know, you, you know, you know, you do, you know, Smack said he rich. You do not get more than a Smack, man. Cut it out. Mook third round was just too powerful. That was a classic third round for Mook. You know what I'm saying? And like I said in the beginning, um, whether the personals wasn't real or not, you know what I mean? The way that he put it together and delivered it made it hit. You know what I'm saying? He put it together well. Like, there's no denying that. So, um, yeah, yo, I got this 2 1 murder move. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to watch this battle again. I definitely got to see B Dot versus Holmesy. Rock one with the caffeine votes. You know, people out here saying it's rigged, whatever the case may be. Man, I don't know, yo. Who knows if it's rigged? Who knows if it's not? You know what I'm saying? But y'all pick and choose sometimes when y'all want it to count. You know what I mean? I mean, me personally, I never go off that. I always go off my own, own opinion of the battle. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, that's just something that they impl implemented into the culture now. You, round by round votes. You feel me? And some people, they be on there just voting for who they want to. You know, you, you got your certain fans that no matter what, their favorite battle, battle rapper can't lose or do nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? So they, they always going to vote for them. You can see on there, like, even if somebody get 30 body clear, People still vote for for the uh, for the other battler in that round. Like, how do they, how do they even have some votes? You know what I'm saying? So sometimes it is a little shaky, but is we counting that? Or is we not? Yeah, you know I mean, y'all let me know in the comments. Me personally, I'm never gonna count it. I'm gonna just go off my own instinct. But y'all let me know in the comments. Hit that like button for me. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. If you want to donate to the channel, cash at dollar sign logic L O G I K L C E. Y'all know I don't never ask for no donations, nothing like that. Plus I might I might go live tomorrow too, yo. You know what I mean? I ain't been live in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So I wanna to touch bases with y'all out there. See what y'all thoughts is, you feel me? Some of y'all can tap in if y'all want. Yeah. And it's lit. Um, but hey, it's your boy, the trenches.